There we go, that was a pretty good start, no smoke. Give it about five seconds to warm up, make sure we've got oil pressure. And I think we're ready to start taxiing. So this is the best park you get to hang your, uh, your hand out and look like you're driving a sports car. <laughs> keep up. Like drone footage, you know how they... Yeah. <laughs> it goes fast as the cars or whatever they're chasing. Alright, you get the grand tour of the airport coming this way. Where, where's the concept of a control tower here, Jamie? It's all what's called a common traffic advisory frequency. Um, right. Which means that um, everyone, you know, people on the ground, people in the air, all talk to each other on a common frequency. And, and we just use standard and exit uh, sort of traffic um, got sort of plans to get in and out and uh -huh. if everyone does that you can, you're kind of predictable and people know where you are and you just talk to each other on the radio sure and it's a lot more efficient than uh, flying in a controlled airspace because they actively separate you from uh, each other and sometimes yes. you, you, they, they allow much bigger spacings yeah of course um, but today I think we might be the only people flying we might hear the, another helicopter on the frequency maybe yeah, so there's the headquarters of the airport, which is why Google Maps kind of takes you over there. That yeah, that's, over there. that's certainly where we were. It's, um, that's okay. Yeah, that's and the hangar that we were in is that last one there with the doors open. Ah, oh, right. Uh, that's where we're based. Yeah, it's actually going to be a nice day, not too sunny. Uh, we'll see some clouds over there near the ranges, which will be fun. And we'll come back and we'll pick a, a gap around here somewhere to do um, you know, the aerobatics when it comes to that. Sure. How many planes you got? You got a couple, is it? We've got three. Yeah, yeah, there's another black aircraft you can see in that hangar there. Yep. Which is getting uh, repaneled today. Um, we're going to fly all three of them to Cowra. Uh, next weekend we've got a, an event in Cowra that, that we do every six months. Right. So we've got one aircraft there already, and uh, this one, I'll fly this one there on Wednesday, and another guy flying that black one there on uh, Tuesday, all going well. Alrighty, I think you can uh, lean back and grab your canopy now if you need. Or over the top, yeah, up forward, sure. Click it into that uh, detent, let me know when it's all locked up. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Excellent. And just double check that your harness is still done up correctly, it hasn't popped out by any chance. No, it's all good. Awesome. So we've got one aircraft just in front of us to land, and uh, once he's uh, off the runway, we'll be ready to go. Yeah. Sounds good. out there today doing some training. There's a couple of young kids that we've got um, at the school right close to our hangar that are doing um, their first couple of flights. Right. And, and they're like six, 15 and 16 years old. Getting started early. 
And they fly these little uh, light sport aircraft. They're very small. You can see they get affected by the window light. Yeah, yeah. How, how young can you be for a license? 16, isn't uh, it? I think 16, yeah. yeah. I think so. Which is, you know, it's 18 for... No, it's 17 for a uh, driver's license. That's right. Yeah. Crazy, isn't it? It is a bit crazy, yeah. Oh, it's in my fleet. Oh, that's a good landing. Cessna traffic, yeah, can't kick off here. They're lining up runway 35. Cessna. Okay, real clear uh, to the right. And just one on the runway. Wait for him to get off. And we'll be ready to go. Control check there, you'll see the stick moving around a bit. Yep. There we go. Yep. Okay, he's off the runway and we're all set to go. You're good? I'm good. Cessna traffic, Yankee Golf Kilo rolling runway 35 for a local flight, Cessna. Alright, here we go.
44 is texting from the fuel bears of today's sniper. hills and then we'll start working our way back up to, to the north. Right. Trying to say, we try not to fly straight over houses. Obviously people get upset if you do that a lot. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, but we'll zip on down through here. Wow. Well, have a little yeah, bit of fun. Uh, Whiskey Tango Tango, it's just going to be airborne approximately three miles to the northeast of the field. On climb 1500 for a local flight to the northeast of the field. That's not. Quite a large 
uh, area just overhead the airport. Uh, so with our clouds, that should be good. Nice and unrestricted. You can see the Newcastle beaches from here. Um, yeah, up to the right, but today you can sort of see just sort of empty cloud. You can almost see the coastline. Now the airport is right below us. If I get the wing, you'll see the runway down there. Ah, yes. Yeah, okay. so we're pretty much just over the Straight airport. above it, yeah, I got you. I got you. Up yeah, for some aerobatics. Let's give it a go, Jamie. So the first one we'll do is just, as I said, the roll. It's really easy. I'm just going to pitch the nose up. We're just going to roll around, so just keep your head just looking straight forward. Yeah, well uh, There's no G-forces on this, it's just really just to enjoy the ride. Around. Yeah, yeah. Okay, mate. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to pitch up. There's the G on your body. You can feel yourself get a little heavier there. Yeah. And about there, rolling it around. There we go. Have a look at the ground. Okay. Wow. There you go. Nice and easy, isn't it? Yeah. The roll? Yeah. the old fashioned loop the loop. So you'll feel just a little bit more G, maybe about 3G in this one, so you'll feel like the, uh, you've been pushed into the seat a little bit more. Uh, and we'll basically just go all the way up, and as we come over the top, I'll just keep you look up and just look straight up and you'll see the ground below us. Ah, oh, yes, okay. That's not traffic, yeah, I think you got fuel over the field uh, between 3 and 4,000 conducting aerobatics. Alright, so we leave, need a little bit more speed for this one. Yeah. So I'll lower the nose there. Yeah. There's 250 kilometres now. We're all clear above. You ready to go? Let's do it. Here we go. So there's 3G there. It's a little heavier. Up we go. Over the top. Look oh, up now. wow. Wow. Uh, I just got into a bit of, little bit of cloud. That's alright. There's the ground. Uh, what we call 
little uh, hesitation roll. The next one, so remember the first roll we did was like continuous? Yes. And we stop every 90 degrees on this one. So you'll feel when we get to upside down, it will feel just a little weird just for a second, okay? Okay. That's cool. All right, here we go. Right on. So we come up like a normal roll, and yeah. then it's kind of snappy, so we check, snap, one, two, feel that. Feels a bit weird, doesn't it? I gotcha. Oh, wow. Three. Upside down, that's yeah. different. Yeah. And then you feel the sideways when you're kind of hanging to the left. 23 miles from northeast of field on climb 700. Yeah, you know, I understand what you're saying. Yeah. So you are almost in a car at that last one, you're sort of leaning to the side. Yeah. Right? And you know, you can do eight point hesitation rolls where guys break that up again into every 45 degrees. Uh, and they do that a lot for aerobatics and you know, competitions, so it looks really snappy. Right. I know it's not on the agenda, Jamie, but yeah. you, you, you can do an outside loop in this kind of thing, playing, can you? Is that right? Or? You can. I, I, um, I don't do them, and I'll show you why. Yeah. I'll, I'll, we'll hang upside down for a bit, yeah. and then I'll basically explain. Oh, my goodness. Oh, so it goes upside oh. down. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. yeah. It becomes really uncomfortable when you start to push forward. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Got gotcha. Uh, you find it's a good way to clean the aircraft though, because all the dust comes up from the, from the floor. <laughs> it's nature's uh, vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Which one of those did you like the most, apart from the upside down bit? Well, maybe you did, I don't know. Uh, I think it was with you, Tango Tango, joining downwind. No, the loop, I, I liked all of it. i, I got to say, the loop was good, I liked it. We'll do a couple more, we'll do one of each, what do you reckon? Yeah, sure. yeah of course, yeah, yeah, yeah let's, absolutely. And then we'll uh, look at some high G stuff. Uh, is this a helicopter we'll look out for somewhere? I think you'll have the Whiskey Tango Tango turning base final free part. Oh, there he is, he's all clear. All time for approach G's and apron set. Cool, he's out of our way, he's down right below us. Back. Get some air. Alright, here we go, we'll, we'll start off with a roll, but I'll make it a snappy roll, okay? Okay. So this is the full roll potential. All the way around. So it rolls quite quickly. You, you keep on spinning through another one of those in your head? Yeah, yeah, I did, yeah, yeah that's exactly that's what fine. I did, exactly what I did, yeah. You all good now? Yeah, I'm alright, okay, okay, cool. Uh, we'll do a 4G loop, okay, so this will be more G, and that'll get us ready uh, when we do some high G, so here comes 4G, so a little bit more G now, you feel yourself a bit heavier. There's 4, over the top. Have a look out the top. Looks lovely. Yeah. Uh, there's my helicopter. There's the Crown Plaza below us if you're interested. Okay. okay. How many people playing golf today? No. Oh, there's a couple over that one. And you ready for a stall test? Let's do it. Let's go over to the airport so if your family's out watching they can have a laugh. This is the one where you go up and it yeah. really brings it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Up we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll give us a little bit more of a push here so we really feel like an astronaut. There's zero G. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Lots of rudder. Yeah, wow, that was incredible. And if you 
like, you can open your canopy to the first detent. Yeah, you've got a little detent there, about two or three inches back. Just raise the little uh, black knob there, bring it back a couple of notches. Canopy, yeah. yeah and that'll get some airflow back there. There you go. Lock yeah. There. yeah, yeah. I'm happy with that? Yeah, yeah, that's good. I'll just cool the engine down for a minute or two and then sure. we'll get ourselves um, set up. How are you feeling? No, I'm alright, mate. I'm yeah, okay. good, yeah. good, good. Just enjoy the view while we do that. Yeah, imagine doing that for, you know, two to three minutes. And looking behind you as you do it, you know, it's, it's quite a, um, it's quite a workout on the body. Well, it is, yeah, I mean, and you, you can pass out, right? I mean, yes, yeah, yeah definitely, they call it G-lock, G-lock. Yeah, G-lock. yeah, no, I've read about it, yeah. Loss of consciousness. Yeah. And you, you start with your eyes, you lose your vision. Wow. And then, uh, yeah, it just creeps up on you, I guess. Luckily, if you're the guy flying it, you, you can feel it coming on and uh, relax the G, just so you don't actually lose consciousness. But uh, there have been a few accidents attributed to that. Is that isn't that where you wear special suits, Jamie? To there's, yeah, there's anti-G suits that, yeah. um, that inflate around your legs. Yeah. Um, uh, and, and they work okay. They, they give you a credit for about one or two Gs. Uh, but that's it. You know, a lot of the other stuff is, you know, you're working hard to keep the blood up in the top half of your body. Do you guys used to wear them in the Air Force, or was it? Yeah, you, yeah. you wear them from the training phase. So when you right. start flying the PC-9 aircraft, you're uh, wearing uh, a full G suit. Right. But when you're flying the fighters, it's just your body so conditioned, is it? But yeah. Yeah, you also wear guys who fly fighters regularly will also wear a G suit, but um, you do have a G tolerance that builds up. You know, like when you go for a run. Yeah. The first one feels awful. Yep. The second one feels a little bit better. Yep. So yep. You have a G tolerance. You can definitely uh, work up a G tolerance if you do a lot of. Um, if you're consistently flying in a high G environment, you will build up a tolerance. Yes. For a G. Yes. Yes. Sure. Cessna traffic Yankee Golf Kilo Yak is three miles to the northwest, passing 2,000 and descent, joining left down in runway 35. Cessna. Alrighty, fields just up there to the right. I think there's no other traffic. So we'll start our um, descent and we'll basically join. Uh, it's quite a downwind, so basically we'll basically fly opposite the direction we're going to land. Okay. And that gets us ready for a 180 degree turn to line up with the landing runway. You have to keep so many hours up, don't you? Is that how it works? So you, you have to do three takeoffs and landings every 90 days. Right. And, and that's a minimum. Um, so most people do more than that. Yeah, sure. And uh, you do a check out in every aircraft. You have to fly every two years. Right. Uh, so once again, that's the minimum. Most guys fly a lot more regularly. Than yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to put the landing gear down now so you hear like a bit of a whoosh. Gear the three green, three poles, so the landing gear is down now. And we can turn what's called base leg, which is basically 90 degrees off the runway. That's not traffic, Yankee Golf Kilo, left base runway, three five, that's not full stop. And you can see the runway we're landing on just over there on the left wing tip. Yep, yep. We're nice and slow now, so if you want, you can wind the canopy all the way back, uh, or you can leave it where it is, up to you. Yeah, it's cool, it's cool. Your other guy bailed on your, your next flight video. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's laying up here, the problem. Something, so he wants to reschedule. I must, ab- I must admit, Jamie, you've been very flexible with uh, oh, no the problem. Yeah, it's been really good. That's right. It's, it's, it's not an uncommon thing for people to move flights around, so... Yeah, yeah. There we go, lined up with our runway, put a little bit of crosswind from the right, but the runway's clear, that's the main thing. Cut, cut yeah, the engine right. there, Jamie, yes, sir. Yeah, we just pull it all the way back to idle. Yep. Land. Engines done producing lift for us and thrust, so otherwise we just wait for halfway down the runway. There we go, we can go to sports car mode again. Wow. Hope you, hope that, you enjoyed that. That was just incredible.
incredible, Jamie, I've got to tell you. I've never known anything like that. It oh, was good. really, really good fun. That's definitely the uh, really? desired outcome. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, no. It's, uh, my, I, my son, I guarantee, will be up for this one. Well, that, yeah, if you want to do another flight, just drop us a Yeah, no, we'll, we'll, um, yeah, yeah. we'll book a time in. Yeah, definitely, no, definitely. I've got your mobile anyway, so... Yeah. Just give us a call. How many Gs was that 6G we yep, were doing? Yep, I've got it on the dial. Oh, wow. That was uh, just... 6.0. Maybe I must have some adrenaline junk in me. Yeah. I, 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 it was it was kind of awful, but then I think oh, gee, I, wouldn't mind, I, I wouldn't mind doing that again. Well, you can tell people now you're six G, so that's the main thing. Yeah. <laughs> if, if, if everyone's in doubt, I just do it, Thank and, and they just go, oh yeah, thanks for doing it. Thanks. I was in two minds. Exactly right, yeah. Jamie. No, no, it was the right thing to do. It's good, actually. It's good. Oh, no, that's good. Really? Oh wow.